Hello everybody, this is Stringhammer back to kick off round 6 for Group F. And we have got this fight card for you, so check it out. So you can see our main event of this session. It is Heady going up against Martin Soto. Defeat for Martin Soto ends any hope of them getting out of this group. Defeat for Heady and they'll have to do it on the last day and hope that other results go their way. But before that, we have got Team Allo going up against Dino Hug. Victory for Team Allo would secure a spot in the last 32 round, and it would all but secure a top spot in this group if they get a bonus point win. Then we have Anvil going up against Blood Moon. That'll be a tough ask for Anvil to get a win against Blood Moon. But up first, it is Dino Hunter going up against Benjamina. Right, in the red corner, representing Dino Hunter, we have got Spiny Tector. Okay, this is a good field for Benjamina. They do get terrain advantage with the Kakirodontosaurus. Hmm, this is an interesting one because they're both in the top four at the minute. But defeat for either of these two and they'll mean that they'll most likely have to do it on the last day. Right, in the blue corner for Benjamina we got Super Carnotaurus Awaken Mode on 2. And while you have to say these two Super Wind Dinosaurs, you have to say has worked so far for them because like I said, they're in the top four. And if they win here they'll more than likely stay in the top four going into the final round, which is, well, for any combatant, that's exactly what you want. You want it all in your hands on the final day. <laughs> you don't want to rely on other results going your way to get through. And that's a good start from Dino Hunter, getting the first shot of the match, a softening beam coming in. Ooh, that's another hit from Dino Hunter. Good start from Spiny so far. But it is awakening time. Elemental Fusion. Oh, just, just like that. That's how quickly a lead can vanish. A ninja attack. That's going to down Spiny. So despite the good start from Dino Hunter, Benjamin is going to be in the lead. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we friggin' one shot it. Not that I'm surprised. We all know Carnotaurus hits really hard. Okie dokie. Coming in next for Benjamin. For the Dino Hunter, we got Sign Raptor. Man, they math. Big hit. And that's why Benjamin is in front. But other than that, it's been a good start from Dino Hunter. Having a much better 3v3 tournament than they have in their previous tournaments. Okay, that crit's going to take out the car. No, nope. and we are level packing. Okie dokie, coming in next for Benjamina. We got Super Ceratosaurus, Awake Mode on 2, like the Carno. And can it get a big hit like that Carno did? We'll have to see, won't we? Another hit from Dino Hunter. This ninja attack is going to do some damage. <laughs> Delayed reaction there. Now this Sign Raptor is heroic type. So yeah, that ninja attack did a decent chunk of damage. And that's another hit from Dino Hunter. Well, here we go again. It's time for Elemental Fusion. Oh, not this time. Dino Hunter gets the hit. That's a big ninja attack. That's going to stop Benjamino getting a big awakened hit. Which probably, given if it were the crit, would have one-shot the Sign Raptor. <laughs> but yeah, Dino Hunter definitely on top now. And well, just like that, it's two under Dino Hunter. Right, coming in third for Benjamina, we got Kakarodontosaurus. It's got terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit. But this could be a... Well, we'll have to see, because it's got type advantage over that Sign Raptor. It, even at this stage, it will be tough for Dino Hunter to get a bonus point win out of this. 
but if they do, it'll be a massive result for them. And that would pretty much do it for them, provided other results go their way. Right, first off, Terrain Het. Benjamin are really struggling to land Hets. It's a tie, it's not what they need. Ah, there we go, there's a Het. Oh, and there's another Het. And Sign Raptor goes down. Well, Dino Hunters probably had twice as many hits in this match, but they're not that far ahead. In fact, I wouldn't even say they're ahead. Right, up third for Dino Hunter, we got Pachycephalosaurus. Well, it did the job for him last time against Heady. Will it do the job for him again? a tie. Another tie. The tie's wearing down the cark. That's a third tie. <laughs> oh, and Dino Hunter gets the hit. That's going to secure the losing bonus point. Things are in good for Dino Hunter in this match. Ooh, but Benjamin uh, gets a recovery on the board. The secret move was triggered, so this won't do too much damage. And no Volcano Burst. It's quite tense at the minute. Oh, Benjamin uh, gets another hit. Can they win this? That guarantees the losing bonus point. The Pachycephalosaurus does not have a way to heal itself. Oh, that's a, that's a hit from Dino... Oh, wait, yes it does. It's got light recovery. Never mind. What do I know? <laughs> Is that going to be lethal? Nope. Defense boost coming in. Will that recovery... Okay, that's still below half, so Benjamin will still get a losing bonus point. Should they lose. Oh, as a tie. Is that going to do it? Ooh. <laughs> Can they survive? They get the hit. Another recovery, which could be huge if we get another tie. But yeah, the Pachycephalosaurus does have good defense now. A Volcano Burst. Wow, this is going right down to the wire. Really good contest. Ooh, another hit. Is that lethal? Oh, it's not, but the Volcano Burst didn't activate. How huge could that be? Oh, it's a tie, it's Andy! Oh! Ooh, this is so tense. And that is a tie! After everything said and done, that is a draw. The points are shared. It's a point apiece. And to be honest, the biggest winners in this match are probably Anvil, Hedy, Martin Soto, the guys in the bottom four. A draw. Crazy. Both of these two will stay in the top four. For now. Wow, what a match. Right, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Anvil, we have got the Kendra us. And that draw has really up opened an the window of opportunity here. If Anvil gets a win here, they will go level with Dino Hunter in third. Um, I can't remember if Dino if they have the head to head on Dino Hunter. I don't even know if they played each other yet. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, in the blue corner for Blood Moon, we have got a T-Rex. Well, if Blood Moon wins here, he will all but secure a last 32 spot. So there's plenty at stake for both our guys. And this is a good field for Blood Moon. They will get the terrain advantage with the Eucharaptor. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> But with a start like that, he don't need the rain advantage. Oh, um, well. There goes Desantorus. <laughs> Blood Moon the Brute at it again. Yep, there goes Desantorus. Quick as a wink. Um, okay. Coming in next for Anvil, we got Edmontosaurus. 
it's going to have type disadvantage against the Utahraptor if it gets to fight it. That's going to be a problem. Not a good start at all for Anvil, but a very good one for Blood Moon. Okay, there's a crept, a death grind, Anvil getting their first shot of the match. Well, what they can't afford to let happen is Blood Moon get another crit on this T-Rex. We saw what what can happen when they one beat Dino Hunter. They got three big crits off. Anvil can't afford to let that happen. Well, it's a good job they keep going scissors. And that's another crit. Tappy Jara dives to come as well. This is good from Anvil. A shaky start to say the least, but this is much better. Look at that, the T-Rex almost going down. Mm, but the T-Rex does get off a firebomb. So it will get the land a shot on the Edmontosaurus. Oh, don't go rock, don't go rock. Okay, got away with it though, and the T-Rex does go down. Right, coming in next for Blood Moon, we've got Utahraptor with terrain advantage. And it, and it has type advantage as well. But the Edmontosaurus did take some damage against that T-Rex. So it's going to be on relatively low health after this hit. So Blood Moon still holds a pretty decent lead. Well, there's the bite in wind. Oh, look at that! Almost killed it! Massive hit from Blood Moon. Okay, Edmontosaurus getting off another death grind. These death grinds are proving very effective for Anvil. We've seen them use it before in this tournament, and it has worked for them. Okay, that's a tie, but remember, this Edmontosaurus is revival type, so it will get to come back. Willing itself to its feet. It's not going down yet. Okay, now it's going down. And actually, it hasn't got a single nature's blasting off, which probably is a bit costly there. Right, coming in food for Anvil, we've got Albertosaurus. It's got type advantage over the Utahraptor, which Anvil is going to need if they want to get back in this match. They have got some hits and landed some shots, but Blood Moon is still retaining that lead. Okay, that's a tie. That's going to nullify the bite in wind. And... That's a hit, a move block coming in from the Trodons. Boosh. Good hit there from Anvil. And that, that firebomb will finish off Utahraptor and we are all square. You have to say, this is a good fight from Anvil. They had a very bad start with the T-Rex, but they have pulled their way right back in this contest. Right, coming in third for Blood Moon, we have got the Deinonychus. And all of a sudden, Blood, Moon, Blood Moon's lead is not so big anymore. Well, again, you can't even call it a lead. Oops. Oh. <laughs> My drink. And that's another hit, and that's going to put Anvil in the lead for the first time this match. Wow, look at this from Anvil. Can they do it? Okay, there's a losing bonus point secured. The Deinonychus can't, has no way to heal itself. Oh, look at this! What a showing from Anvil! Wow, I really thought this could have been a 3 nil after, especially after that start. I thought, oh my god, this could be 3 nil here. But look at this! Anvil on the brink of a huge win against Blood Moon. 
Ooh, the Blood Moon lands a crit. That does secure a losing bonus point for Blood Moon. Oh, hang on a minute. Blood Moon get another hit. They're not beaten yet. And look at this. Oh my god, we can have another tie. <laughs> oh, it's not. Nope, not a tie this time. It is Anvil's victory. What a win for Anvil. They get a huge result. And that gets them level on point with Dino Hunter in third. Now, it's not all lost for Blood Moon. They do get a losing bonus point, so they'll take that. But after that start, I, I really feared for Anvil. But what a wait, what a fight, back, what a showing. And a very well earned victory. Now, on to match number three. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Team Aloe, we have got the Blitz type Allosaurus. Victory for Team Aloe here would secure a spot in the last 32. Well, in fact, the losing bonus point would be enough to do it, given the uh, first two results. And I have to say, I've been really impressed with Team Aloe in this tournament. Really impressed. They, they could make a deep run. Right, in the blue corner, for Dino fans, we have got Mini King. Very bizarre choice. <laughs> no, not Dino fans, Dino Hug. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Dino Hug needs to win this match. If he does lose here, then... Well, it won't be mathematically over, but it'll be pretty much over. Right, first things first. Because this Aloe is blitz type, it's got to go for the two crypts. Ooh, is a tie. Right, crypt number two. No crit this time for Team Allo. Dino Hug putting a stop to that nonsense. Well, Team Allo does get terrain advantage in this matchup, courtesy of the Alpha Allo. So here's something to bear in mind. But this is a good start from Dino Hug. It's a tie. No Plasma Anchor though. The, the Mini King does have it. Ah, oh, there's a crit from the Allo. It's a banana surprise. Surprise! <laughs> oh, just like that. Ooh, but Counter Blitz has been triggered. Now that makes things interesting here because Move Removal activates. The Allo will go for a crit. But because of the Counter Blitz, it will not get that crit. So that's a big Counter Blitz there from Dino fans. Pretty much countering the Move Removal of the Banana Surprise. But, oh, and he doesn't take out the Allo. But it, he does stop Team Allo from taking the lead. And that tie will finish off the Allo. Again, another even start so far. These have been very tight matches. Really close. The first two have gone right down to the wire. This could go to the wire as well. I mean, I hope I don't jinx it, because I love close matches. <laughs> so intense. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we've got Allo at Trox. Both of these two got Aloatrox in their team. And both of them have benefited from having it in their team. Oh, that's a tie. And that is enough to kill the uh, knockout the Mini King. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dino Hug, we've got a Patasaurus. And mm -hmm. um, we've seen glimpses of what this guy can do. How capable it could be. Ooh, is Aloatrox striking first? Okay, that's probably his weakest hit. And yeah, not much damage done there. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, that's a crit from the Apatosaurus. A big shot coming from Dino fans. Dino hug. I swear I get the two mixed up. Honestly, if they both play each other at some point in this tournament, which, which could still happen, I think. Heaven help me. <laughs> oh, that's another hit. That defense boost elemental power combo is maxed up. Although, elemental power won't really do 
as much for Dino Hug in this match because of the lack of super moves that Team Allo has. In fact, its only super move is the Hurricane Beat. And that tie does put Dino Hug in front, 2 1 up. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we got Alpha Allosaurus. It does have terrain advantage and it will get the next hit, which will be a crit. So, and they're going to need that hit. Okay, I'll just get... <laughs> I don't know, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Got to do terrain advantage, idiot. Okay, it, did, it, it didn't matter which order I did it. <laughs> Whoops! I think, yeah, the Apatosaurus is going down anyway. <laughs> I forgot to do the terrain advantage. Okay, there's the terrain hit. The other hit counts as well and again like I said this would have happened anyway so yeah Apatosaurus was going down anyway so it didn't change anything I just got it in the wrong order whoops right anyway coming in third for Dino Pug we have got Allosaurus Atrox gonna give Team Allo a taste of his own medicine yeah let's see if he likes it Like I said, this is going right down to the wire, but Team Allo does have the lead. The attack boost is maxed up, so this Allosaurus, Alpha Allosaurus, is going to hit hard. So Dino Fat Hug Hug needs to be aware of that. Oh, that's a crit, and with the attack boost buff, this could be lethal. Is it going to be Team Allo's victory? You may look like me, you may roar like me, but there can only be one Team Allo. Oh, okay, it wasn't lethal. Damn it, I saved up that speech. <laughs> okay, there's the lethal blow. No! Aloatrox does hang on by the skin of his teeth. Okay, there's the killer blow. Team Allo gets it done in the end. And it is a big win for them, which all but secures a place in the knockout rounds and will probably secure a top spot as well. As for Dino Hug, well, it's looking bleak for them. They're probably going to have to get a big win in the final round and need other results to go their way. In fact, they may even be out already. I'll have to double check everything when we finish this final match, which is our main event. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Heady, we have got the Triceratops. Um, the narrative is simple for both of these two, they have to win. I mean, Martin Soto in particular. Heady could in theory afford to lose this match and still have a chance to go through, but to have a realistic chance of going through, they do need to win. Anyway, in the blue corner for Martin Soto, we have got Paki Rhinosaurus. And well, it's win or bust for Martin Soto. If they lose here, they are officially out. And well, it won't get easier for them because they do play Blood Moon in the final round. <laughs> so yeah, not fun. Um, we don't have grass dinosaurs in this match, I believe, so no terrain advantages. Let's get to it. Okay, so the Paki Rhinosaurus gets the first shot of the match. It's a lightning strike. Both of these two, I believe, are heroic types. But that's definitely better for Martin Soto than it is for Heady. Because that super crit's going to hit super hard. Oh, that's another hit. This is a good start for Martin Soto. Getting some early hits on the board. Now, I will say, Martin Soto will have to get a bonus point win from somewhere. You know, two normal wins won't be enough for them. Well, there goes the Triceratops, and Martin Soto takes the lead. 
Right, coming in next for Heady, we got Spinosaurus, and well, given the scenario, the type disadvantage that this Spino will have, I do feel this is a good opportunity here for Martin Soak to, to extend this lead that they've built. Well, if Heady gets a losing bonus point out of this, that would not be too bad. A win for them would put them into fourth above Anvil in the table by virtue of the head-to-head. -head. Okay, there's a crit, and that's going to be a big crit from the Spino. Heady getting their first shot of the match. And it's quite the big one. So yeah, they'd be level with Dino Hunter and uh, Anvil, but Dino Hunter has the head-to-head -head on both of them. Well, actually, they, Dino ha Hunter has the head-to-head -head on Heady, but hasn't played Anvil yet, but has a better record. So Dino Hunter would be third. Heady would climb to fourth of a win. A bonus point win would put Heady third. And well, look at that. Quick as a wink. Cracky Rhinosaurus dispatched. Tight disadvantage. Not a problem for Spino. Right, coming in next to Martin Soto, we have got Saltosaurus. Well, it hits like a truck. And if it can take out the Spino, again, the same scenario. It'll have type advantage over Heady's next Dino, which is T-Rex. And that Hydro Cutter is lethal. We all know it. Especially against the T-Rex. But, you've got to get rid of this Spino first. Okay, there's a shot. It's a Net Crusher. A very weird move to use on this dude. Oh, that's another hit. That's a Tragic Sphere. This is good for Martin Soto. Retaining his lead in this match. And down in the spine up. Now things get interesting. Coming in third for Heady, we got a T-Rex. Well, we all know a T-Rex can sweep. It's very capable of sweeping. Even with type disadvantage. But a hydro cutter from the Assaultosaurus is gonna be deadly. So th there is an opportunity, I do feel, for Martin Soto here. They can get the big hit in. Like a definite opportunity for a bonus point win, which would be huge for them. Ooh, but the T-Rex gets the... Okay, that's not too bad, though. That's probably his weakest hit. And yeah, you can see the type advantage. And that triggers the Hydro Cutter as well. Okay, it's a Net Crusher. I believe, yeah, Faganax comes in third with the Death Fire as well. If Martin Soto needs it. But at the minute, he's not going to need it, because this is a really good shot. Ooh, the T... Well, it's getting hit, but they're not big hits. Okay, here we go, here comes something, and it's a Volcano Burst. Heady just can't seem to land a big shot at the moment. Not like he did with the Spino. And playing a really dangerous game, constantly going for scissors. Okay, that's a good shot from the Saltosaurus. That's going to guarantee a losing bonus point. But like I said, that's not enough. And one hit will do it for Martin Soto. Can they get this bonus point win? The tie. It's another tie. That's going to do it. That is a massive bonus point win for Martin Soto to keep their tournament hopes alive. Can they come back from the brink to secure a top four spot? Well, they've done, they, they've done their part here. they still got work to do, but it is very much alive. Right, let's have a look at the table after that. So yeah, that is Group F, ladies and gentlemen. So Team Allo already safely through to the last 32 rounds, 17 points. And they'll probably go on to win the group. And I think they do deserve it in the end. Blood Moon in second place. Like five bonus points. <laughs> They're racking them up. 14 points. I'm sure Blood Moon will get through. Then we have Dino Hunter. Above above Anvil by, vir by virtue of their uh, record overall. Courtesy of that draw in third. Anvil in fourth. And these two do play each other in the final round. So that could be a big game. The winner of that match will almost, well, certainly go through. And the loser will be having to rely on other results going their way. 
Then we have Benjamino in fifth on 10 points. Still well in the mix. Martin Soto climbing up to eight points, going above Heady now. Both of these two still in the hunt and Dino Hug, well, it's not official because there is still a stipulation where they can go through, but it's, they're pretty much 98% done. So the scenario in which Dino Hug could go through is, well, first off, they need a 3-0 win, which would put them above Anvil by the head-to-head. -head. Then they have to hope that Dino Hunter, Blood Moon, and Team Allo win their matches against, well, Benjamin or Martin Soto and Anvil, and hope that these two, anyway, don't get any kind of losing bonus points. So it is still possible for Dino Hug, but it is a very long shot. 3-0 <laughs> win with Mini King, I just don't think it's going to happen. So yeah, obviously the big one is going to be Dino Hunter versus Anvil. Of course, this match could be irrelevant if if these three lose their matches. Benjamina taking on Team Allo again, that's going to be a tough match for Benjamina, but... Now, Benjamina has sprung a few surprises in this tournament. They can definitely pull it off. And then Heady going up against Dino Huck. So out of these three, based on the matchups, I'd probably say Heady has the best chance of sneaking into that top four. But in my personal opinion, I do feel top four is going to be as it is. And I think it'll be that them four going through. But right, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.